We're on Robson Street here in downtown Vancouver, and today we're asking people, has online dating ruined relationships? This is Vancouver Talks. I don't think it's ruined relationships. Those with no confidence to go up to a bar, approach a chick, you know, they just approach them on their phone or on their computer, grow some balls, and then take them out on a date. I think it's maybe improved it. Improved it. For the, the shyer people, the people like... For the shyer people of the world, it's improved yeah. it. If there's an actual connection, like a real connection between two people, it doesn't matter how you meet. Like intellectual connection. Like a physical or like emotional connection to someone. I don't know. I've never I don't tried know online, online date, really. Really? <laughs> well, people who have Tinder, like that's kind of ruined it. Because that's not, well, not even really like online dating, is it? It's part of the online dating. Is that yeah. what you would consider online yeah. dating? Yeah, then yeah, I think a little bit. Why? Why do you say that? Well, Tinder, like, people don't, like, date from Tinder. It's more just, like, yeah, hookup. hookups and stuff. So it's kind of giving, like, an excuse to do that. I don't know. Is that, like, would you guys say the same thing? I can agree with that. Yeah, yeah. most uh, organic I, relationships don't come from online Tinder. dating. Yeah. I don't think. Okay. I just feel like this generation as a whole, or this, like, our, our society now, like, we don't, it's not the way it used to be with dating and stuff. No. Like, it happens differently. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I think that people, like, for me, I think that people or more serious when they before before the online dating thing. Yeah. They're way more serious yeah. about who they date. Now it's just like there's options everywhere. Totally. I think it's made it less romantic. Like I think it's taken the courtship away from dating. Yeah. Is it like more like hump and dump and then move on to the next you know I think the options of hump and dump has definitely been more Open. have been raised to it yeah. right because if something doesn't work with one girl then you're good to go on to another like you have so many options now yeah they haven't ruined it at all but they've just added a whole new complex side to it also another now, layer yeah just okay. a whole other layer on the beautiful echelon in the complex way that I think technology was inevitably going to uh, well, I feel like it's probably good because you get to be able to have a bit of a more more of a selection that you get to choose from just like at the tip of your finger yeah. but it's probably bad in the same way as that too because then like if you're like unhappy in a relationship you can just quickly go on there and check it out you know what I mean so it's probably yeah <laughs> it exponentially is increased the amount yeah. of opportunities and the, options yeah, increasing yeah. options interesting choice that's good hell no I'm on Tinder and I'm on Bumble. I have more fun actually just kind of sitting there and like swiping, checking out people's profiles, but I don't think it's made any impact on like making dating any worse or whatever. There's an option there now, right? There's an True. option to go, okay, screw this. I'll, I'll have her as a side chick. Yeah. yeah. And then I can just look from other, other chicks. Well, I'm not going long-term, even though she wants to be long-term with yeah. me, even though she's the craziest girl that you've ever met. Sure. But you have that, that chance to meet another girl. I think that you can do that with or without online dating. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing to say that I couldn't go out every Friday, Saturday night and talk to a couple girls and get their numbers and, you know, okay. keep those plates spinning. But certainly online dating has made it a lot easier. Yes, I guess it's all about the individual, you know? People find comfort in getting likes, you know? Yeah, that's uh, the feel good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Every like is a, is a high five or a slap on the butt, yeah. you know? Uh, and I guess that makes people wonder it doesn't matter if you've met someone that you're dating, you still leave that app open and you keep the options open. So it's never like you're fully committed into a relationship. So the option screws everything up, like fucks it. I don't, I don't know if it screws everything up, but it definitely doesn't help. No? No, not at all. I mean... So if you found a guy that you really, really like... Uh, online? Online. You would commit. You would oh, get yes. rid of Tinder, you yes. get Bumble. Yep, I... So if you find Mr. Right, I, there has been a few guys that I actually would do that to, but it just didn't really work out, but... Okay. So are you online dating? No. No? I'm in a relationship. In a relationship, okay. It wasn't online, it was met in person? No, it was met in person, but... You're a select few now. Yeah, I've got friends from years ago, I used to ridicule him because I used to say to him in a bar, Oh, is that chick on whatever he was on, plenty of fish? Why don't you talk to her? Here's my phone, you know? Yeah. Some people just have a gift of a gab. Some people don't, yeah. do not. Yeah. I actually know one of my friend's sisters. She is engaged to someone she met on Tinder. Oh. Yeah. So that's long term. Really long term. I mean, it happens. That's true. One of my roommates, they've been dating for a year, like, in a week, and they met on Tinder. Yeah. But I just don't feel like as a good rep for being, like, yeah. like in the I don't grand think scheme of, of things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know one girl who is dating this guy who she met on Tinder? For how long? Is he? I think they've been together for, like, two years now. About two years. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Usually mine is like 20 minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Thanks for watching. SLS, share, like, subscribe, and score out. Yes, yeah, Shaw. Subscribe to me. <laughs> like, Shaw. Sauce me up. Yeah, if you get all your employees and Shaw to subscribe to me, I'll have five employees. <laughs> Shout out, Shaw. <laughs> have you actually tried one of these things? No. Uh, I've never tried no. it. Not once. That's not the, that's not the question, though.